So I decided to uh, go ahead and just cut tonight. I don't know what that big chunk of aluminum is doing hanging out there. I'm just a slob. Is it me or did my pea stream get weaker? Man, I mean, it's doing its thing, but not doing it very good. And I'm right on the feed rate right now because I'm still working on the uh, the path. But it's going to do this pocket real slow because it's 100% slot cut. So question, for those of you who are doing this for quite a while, if, uh, if you find yourself like monitoring your machine really close, oop, got to slow it down here. I didn't like the sound of that. If you're monitoring your machine real close and you've got to pee, what do you do? Is that why they invented this uh, M01 brake button? I don't know. Maybe I'll just uh, open up the cabinet door and uh, flop her in there. It appears... I hate flood cooling. I mean, it's good, but it, it's bad. I can't really see what's going on in there. Hell, I could have a busted end mill right now and not even know about it. But look at that weak stream. What is wrong with that? Do all these machines just, like, trickle? Ugh, so frustrating. And we're all getting up there in age. I guess we gotta probably deal with this sooner or later anyway. I'll slow it down to uh, my regular tool cut speed here. Hopefully it'll do its thing. Real shallow cut though. 0 0.020 0 0 or something right here. It's our recess. And so far, my uh, coolant on, coolant off uh, seems to work. Just adding a bunch of M08, M09s, but I'm gonna go edit the uh, post processor so it adds these automatically at the beginning and the end. I really tempted to deposit and blow some air in there and see what we got, but I know it's doing its thing. Next tool path, it's gonna go grab my uh, 90 degree uh, V cutter here. Sorry about the uh, cabinet door here. Let's put this overhead. Hopefully it does this right. Oh, what, uh, yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna crank this up. It's actually doing something that I should have raised the RPMs up. I'm gonna end up crunching the tip off of that 90 degree. I just forgot to uh, raise the RPMs up. Now I got a drill cycle here. This part's all pretty easy. Ah, may have to start adding some camera footage from the GoPro I got in the cabinet. This is doing peck drilling. It's just doing it at a uh, uh, five five inches per minute. It's pretty slow. Hopefully that worked. And then again, we got the coolant going. Uh, it's turning on and off the correct way. Just adding a bunch of M08s, M09s in the right place on your G-code.
Not much to see when you're running coolant. Kind of depressing, honestly. As long as it turns out right, I'm good. See how it withdrew the tool after it stopped? Kind of weird. Could be the code. I don't know. I may have to keep the, uh, the motor running a little bit longer. But what the hell's it doing now? Oh, yep, yeah, little chamfer. I'm just gonna do a couple holes here real quick. Maybe five of them. I don't even know if I programmed this tool set right. I'll have to check later. But that's it. Uh, we'll uh, open the door here. I'm gonna store this tool real quick because it doesn't store the tool at the end. Uh, we'll give it a little tuck and blow. Look at how big those chips are. Is that from drill? What's that from? There's my big old chupacabra. I don't know. We'll see what we got. Blow that crap off. Blow that out. Appears I do have some uh, some hangers going on, but this won't affect it because. Uh, but when you get chips like that that are still stuck to your part. I think my, uh, I need to slow something down or speed it up. I'm not sure what yet. Yeah, it looks pretty good. There we go. It's amazing how it gets this, uh, this finish. And yet you can't even feel it with your fingernail. No matter what you do, it's a, it's like a, uh, a prismatic effect. And it's really cool. But yeah, everything looks good. I think I need to chamfer around this part right here. But this is going to get media blasted at the end, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, crap. I just got my camera all dirty. Uh, chip size looks really good. I'll have to do some minor adjustments as I go, but there are my update. Seems to be making parts. Uh, as long as I don't change zero, I just align the edge. I think we're good. Yeah. Now this is why I bought a Tormach. I'm finally happy. Except for this mess. Ick. I need to do something about this. I think I need to add more coolant. I don't know why this coolant flow is not doing its thing though. I have no clue. If anybody knows how to add more pressure here, do I need a booster pump? Do I have a line clogged in like the first day? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. It's really weak. I'm pretty sure uh, it was stronger to begin with, but maybe then again, I've slept since then. So we'll flip it over. I'll do side two and we'll see what we got. Have a good night.